Calgary Fish Creek followed by Stony Plain. No. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, yesterday's speech from the throne indicated the government was working with communities across Alberta to develop family care clinics. Yet we have people in the gallery representing their community because this government was not working with them on the already established FCCs. The pilot project Slave Lake FCCA was created two years ago, and this past fall, four physicians abruptly resigned. Now the community is left with fewer physicians per capita than the country of Nigeria. Shame. What is the minister going to do about Slave Lake's grave concerns about the deteriorating access to health care? Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I'm delighted that the Honourable Member refers to the Family Care Clinic in Slave Lake. It wasn't that long ago, Mr. Speaker, following a, a fire in that community that the community was down to one doctor. And with the introduction of the Family Care Clinic model uh, and the attraction that that brought to physicians and other health professionals, the number of doctors was raised from one to nine, Mr. Speaker. Since then, we've seen tremendous progress in Slave Lake in the addition of nurse practitioners, uh, other health care professionals working in the Family Care Clinic working with local physicians and working in the emergency department of the hospital. Mr. Speaker, this is a model that is working. It is true there is a dispute involving physicians at the moment, but the issue, Mr. Honorable Speaker, is not Mr. the model. Well, Mr. Speaker, let's talk about that model that is working. Given that Slave Lake has lost its uh, obstetrics, its trauma service, the local air ambulance, and now half of the doctors, how can the 11,000 residents be confident that they can get the care they need when they need it? Well, Mr. Speaker, I, I can tell you today that there are six physicians practicing in Slave Lake. There are a number of other physicians, Mr. Speaker, that have site visits scheduled to the community. Mr. Speaker, this is a community that has been served well by the family care clinic model. It is true that there are four physicians that chose to resign their positions in Slave Lake, uh, as I understand it, in order to pursue private practice practice in the community. That is certainly their right as private contractors, Mr. Speaker, but the fact remains that this is a vibrant community with a successful model that is attracting more doctors. So, Mr. Speaker, let's continue talking about that successful model. Given that first-time expectant mothers and those with high-risk pregnancies cannot give birth in their home communities because of the lack of doctors, anesthesiologists and obstetric support, and given that Slave Lake's birth rate is substantially higher than the provincial average, does the minister really expect a mum in labour to drive two and a half hours to a hospital in Edmonton? Frankly, Minister, if it would have been me, I would have never made it. <laughs> actually interested in supporting the citizens of Slave Lake and recruiting doctors to their community, I suggest she might want to try a different tack. The fact is, Mr. Speaker, that one of the four physicians that resigned in the community to pursue private practice had the obstetrical qualifications that the Honourable Member refers to. Uh, at least one of the physicians that will be making site visits to Slave Lake has those qualifications. Mr. Speaker, if this member is interested in supporting that community, she might want to change her recruitment message.